40 airlines serve Knuffingen Airport in Hamburg with 360 flights a day. It's a precise 1 to 87 scale model of Hamburg's very real Fulsbüttel Airport. With a surface of 125 square meters, Knuffingen is the world's largest miniature airport. Gerrit Brown, a Hamburg native, came up with the idea for the project. At a very early point in the development of Wunderland, I realized that I definitely wanted to build an airport. My father's a total aircraft enthusiast, and since I also live near the airport, I began to get interested in planes and soon realized what possibilities they offer. Brown needed two years just for the planning. He and 40 colleagues worked another four years on the project. It cost three and a half million euros. 50,000 figures, 75 buildings, 90 vehicles. Every single part was made by hand in a workshop dedicated solely to the task, directly underneath the toy airport. A special mechanical system was developed for the aircraft. They are built the same way as the little cars that drive around here. They have a small motor and a steerable front axle. The steering is done by computer and we have a battery on board that powers the motor so it can move. The challenge with the airplanes is making them fly too. That is done with this rod mechanism. The rod sticks out of slots or tracks in the surface and the rods can be raised and lowered. The biggest challenge is takeoff and landing. The rod mechanism moves the airplanes in a deceptively realistic way. Engine noise blares from loudspeakers. Each model plane has its own distinctive sound. Every movement is controlled by computer. Not all the bugs have been ironed out yet. Brown provides assistance on the tarmac. The airport operates 10 hours a day and situations arise we didn't foresee in the development phase. A tanker comes from the left, a fire truck from the right, but the plane has to be able to come through the middle. The control software was developed especially for this airport operation. It's still being optimized every day. Just like a real airport, Knuffingen is tied in with the rail network. The model railroad comprises the greater part of Miniatur Wunderland. The railway part of the show covers 1,200 square meters. Trains travel through eight different landscapes along 13 kilometers of rail. This is the world's longest model train installation. The trains and planes are monitored from the control center where Gerrit Brown's twin brother and business partner is on duty. I think it was ultimately a good decision to build a model of Hamburg Airport, even if it doesn't exactly fit in the place we put it. But people recognize it because many of them landed in Hamburg before visiting Wunderland. So we were able to create a monument to our city. The miniature Wonderland is one of northern Germany's most popular tourist attractions. It's the most frequently visited exhibition in Hamburg, attracting 1.1 million visitors each year. You see the gleaming eyes. Men come in as adults and turn into children as soon as the first blue police lights go on or night falls. It's fascinating and it's a lot of fun. Night falls here every 15 minutes and lasts three minutes. 40,000 LEDs illuminate the airport segment of Wunderland. And every two minutes, a plane lands, even at night.